All right, hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. This is Eva Eckert, episode number 13. Welcome to the show. We have a bunch of people joining us today on Zoom. So don't forget that we are, the main thing today should be Zoom, not Facebook, because we have a specific guest. We have an amazing guest. Jenna will be joining us today. So welcome, Jenna, today to the show. And it's going to be amazing, amazing session. So if you can, please join. I have a bunch of participants on Zoom, which is fantastic. Now, first of all, I wanted to say thank you to all of you for your time, for the fact that you are joining us on the on No Excuses Ladies Network. And for those of you who've never been here, I wanted to tell you what this network, what this Facebook, what this group is all about. This group is all about ladies just like you who are looking for a no excuses way of life to win in life, to win in relationships, to win in and find the reason, the purpose in life, because this is very important for us to live, to live full and joyful life. And a lot of us lost it. And I know that it's sometimes it's hard because life happens. But if you find that way of changing your mindset and finding a no, no excuses way of living, you're going to really dig into that deep joy and, and happiness in life. And that's what it's all about. So I'm coming on board just once a week here with you to talk and invite different guests and talk about life and talk about life experiences, not only mine, but yours. That's why we have Jenna today on board, who's going to be talking about uh, amazing transformation, not only physical, but mental. And we're going to tap into hypnosis. Ladies, this is going to be such an amazing session. So take notes, take participation. If you are on the Zoom, we're going to have uh, Q, Q's and A at the end of the session. So we're not going to be interrupting the speaker or me. So take notes as you go along. Maybe there's, there will be a thought in your head that you wanted to ask. So remember, we forget things. So just take notes. And at the end of the session, we can ask questions. I, I see you guys logging in here on Facebook, which is great. So welcome again on board. And if you are part of the Facebook group, make sure that you are doing your daily AM and PM routine, which I, which I pinned to the top of the page. This is very important. That's what I'm also going to talk about today a little bit. And uh, last week topic, we were talking about the wellness and happiness transformation, how you can really find the no excuses. <laughs> different things that are happening in life, like, uh, you know, C-sections or, or uh, different surgeries that you can always find a way of healthy life. And that was my, uh, that was my topic last week, right? So uh, today we're gonna, we're gonna, as I mentioned, we're gonna join Jenna at our Zoom meeting, but we're also going to be talking about uh, what kind of relaxation and techniques we are using since we're going to be talking about hypnosis. <laughs> bothering us for some reason something is trying to get through even though it says busy um so how are we going to be managing stress and anxiety right and how are we going to stay focused and create a vision and i'm going to talk about these techniques based on what i've been doing and then jenna comes on board and she's going to share with you her amazing story because her transformation is truly amazing so um let's talk about the techniques that I've been using for many years. And that's what really helped me to create the vision, stay on board, not only with my mindset, but most important, impo importantly, to stay fit for life. I'm 44 years old. I have two kids. I had a hernia respiratory surgery, and I'm still coaching and training people and look better than ever. So for those of you ladies out there who, who could not tap into their full potential, there's always a way. There is a way. And how are we going to do this? By, by going into certain habits and routines for our life. And this is so important. So take notes. So how do I start my day when I get up? I get up at about 5 a.m. And I'm going to give you an example. You need to find your magic time. Each of us has that magic time. So if you cannot work out later in the day... <laughs> would be to uh, 
uh, get up in the morning, do this do this workout in the morning, right? So how I do it and what I do it. The moment that I get up, I am going to hydrate at least two cups of water. And this is very important because you lose water throughout the night for perspiration and dehydration, right? We breathe, so we lose the water. We want to stay hydrated. You want to make sure that you have a healthy breakfast. A lot of you missing the breakfast and healthy breakfast for your energy, for your mind, for your speeding up the metabolism. It's so important. It's breaking the fast because you've been fasting overnight. So make sure that you're going to have the healthy option for food. So what are we going to have? Well, for instance, I've been doing Herbalife for many years. And if you wanted to know more, I can always give you the idea what kind of shakes I've been using. So I go by the example, which I called and I created. It's called G-U-O-P. Get up on protein get up on protein so you need to uh, it, it, yeah. you need to be very important you, you need to remember that when you get up in the morning you're gonna have your protein and i see basim is sending me hearts yes he knows so getting up on protein ladies and why protein because protein will give you the muscle building block uh, for your really the protein for your muscles right you wanted to have there is a bold, crazy man behind these lights and doing crazy stuff, by the way. If you don't know the bold man, that's my husband. He's absolutely crazy. Watch the Russian and the Freak show on Friday. You're going to see what's, what's, what, what are we talking about. But that's the, besides the point. This show is natural. This is nothing staged here. That's how we roll. But anyway, uh, getting up on protein. Most of you run on carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are for your brain. Great. But in order for you to have a high metabolism, you need to get up and eat some protein and don't skip the breakfast ever. So this is the first thing. The moment that I'm going to get this, this drink, the tea, I am going to go through meditation. And Jenna is going to present you with something different like hypnosis, right? That's what she specializes in. But what is that release stress and anxiety and connecting to your mind, to that subconscious mind? It's all about relaxation technique. For me, it's meditation. So it is not an easy thing, but it's learnable. So all of us can do this. So I strongly recommend you today to find something. Maybe you want meditation. Maybe you want tapping techniques. You don't know about tapping techniques. You can send me a message. I will be more than happy to tell you what, what is the tapping technique that we can do and release the stress and anxiety, increase the energy, the blood flow through our mind and body. So it takes about 10 minutes for the meditation, not longer. Some people meditate for long, but that's what I do. It comes your mind, it comes your uh, body, but also what it is, you're going to catch yourself and realize how the mind really works. That our mind can drift, that thoughts comes and go, they come and go, that we are also not our thoughts, that there is something else that it's happening through our mind and then throughout the day you can catch yourself because meditation teaches you a lot meditation teaches you to be present meditation teaches you to stay focused meditation teaches you to not multitask because multitasking will never work your brain can concentrate on one task at a time and this is so crucial for all of us to know so if you've been multitasking maybe now it's the time to Say, you know what? I got to stay focused. I got to do one thing at a time, right? So what else uh, teaches you meditation? Of course, being organized, right? But what else do I do? I journal. And journal is a well-known thing. For express our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, and our vision on paper. Remember, our thoughts, if you do not express these thoughts in the form of writing it's just a thought but if you start writing a lot of things that you have in your head mm -hmm. it's being put it on a piece of paper you can review it and you can tune into the things that you really want to do in life so remember we're talking about having that no excuses life so whatever there is happening in your life happening with you you can journal you can write it Write it down for a few minutes. I'm not talking about a lot. Some people follow, uh, you know, 
certain books, certain leaders, certain breakdowns. We have the AM and opening routine, but simple things like, you know, gratitude. What are, what are the main things that you should focus on? Uh, who you should connect today? How do you want to show up in the world today as who? Who do you want to be? What is the reason and the purpose? What, what do you want to really do and accomplish that day? That can be daily, that can be weekly, that can be monthly. Those are all different breakdowns that we do. And that's what I teach in my coaching as I do one-on-one coaching. And we can go more in depth about it. But remember, and I want you to start today to write and journal. And so you can understand your thoughts. You can understand not only what's going to happen for the day, but also when we do the PM routine, right? Writing it down, reflecting on what happened throughout the day. Was I, was I present with my loved ones? Did I accomplish things that I supposed to be working on? Did I concentrate on my health, on nutrition? It's reflection of the day. And let me tell you, this thing that I've been doing right now for months and years has changed my life. Because a lot of times, there, where is the closure of the day? You're just going to go into the next day and you're never going to recognize your victories. You're never going to recognize things that you have done good. So when life happens and life is not really that well, you're going to only absorb the bad instead of also absorbing the good from life. And that's very important. So seeing the victories, accomplishing things, because sometimes there is so much going on in your life. It's so good. That's the, what the reflection and journaling at the end of the day is. So I strongly recommend you to start the day. If you're not sure how, we can always talk about it. You guys can always send me a message. Uh, I'm going to give you my phone number, 201-925-1860. That's my direct number. You can We can always talk about this more in details. Uh, but today I'm just giving you an outline because of course we want Jenna to come on board and talk about her story. What else is important throughout the day? That uh, certain things go by the hour. So obviously I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. I have multi different companies that we run and my day is scheduled hour by hour. So what I mean by that? At the beginning of the day, when I when I schedule myself, I know what task I'm going to be working on. And I go hour by hour, and that's the best day. Sometimes life happens, and you need to push things aside, and it's okay. But you need to have some kind of an outline and schedule for yourself so you can keep the schedule going. Now, what other thing is important, a lot of you maybe work for an office, work for someone, and you want to make sure that every 45 minutes you're going to take a break. Because imagine, if you're working on some heavy, hectic things, you have some things to accomplish, and you're working so hard, you stop, you forget about your nutrition, you're going to stop eating correctly, you're going to stop drinking water. How many of you are drinking water here right now? I have my water right here, and I am sipping it constantly, but a lot of you, I see some cups over there, nice. Sip your water, because water is metabolism. Water is hydration. So this is very important to eat good and to have a break. So 45 minutes passes by, your eyes will relax from the computer. You're going to have a break. That's like in Poland, I have to tell you. I, I was raised and uh, I was born and raised in Poland for 20 years. I've been here in this country for about 20 years, over 20. And we had 45 minute sessions at school. After 45 minute session, we would have a break. So that's how we got to think. It's kind of the same system. And it's very good system because it gives you a relaxation. So five minutes maybe for water. Maybe you're going to grab a yogurt. Maybe something healthy to eat or drink. Make sure you apply this. And I guarantee you, you're going to have less anxiety, less stress, less headache. You're going to feel better about your day. So eating every two, three hours. My big freaks already know this that we're eating every two, three hours. Why eating every two, three hours? To keep the metabolism going. Because if you skip the meals, you're not gonna have a steady energy level. Your insulin level is gonna be going up or drastically going down, and that's when you feel sluggish, you don't have enough 
energy usually in the afternoon about 2 or 3 p.m right we have that moment that you're like oh my god i'm so tired i never have those moments because i am very regimented at schedule on the eating drinking and of course i have my always herbalife tea afternoon with me because this thing was gonna give me amazing energy so yes we went over uh, the journaling in the evening uh, following planners and staying organized removing the clutter from things like brain dump dumping the stuff on a piece of paper that really clutters your brain and it's okay it's gonna be in front of you but you can check mark at the end of the day and you're gonna feel much better about your day so this is important those are the techniques that i've been using for a very very long time and of course you can ask me more at the end of the session we are we more than happy to give you some uh, ideas and uh, what else what else is there obviously there is an exercise right because i'm a coach i've been coaching people for over 20 years and you can see our sessions live online nowadays we do a lot of free sessions from boxing to boot camp every thursday we have a 6 15 p.m eastern standard time always free session on facebook and you can join us so exercise is a part of my routine it has been for many, many years, even though when I was pregnant with the kids, when I could work out, I would work out. And of course, when I had my surgeries, I had to recover for six weeks. But immediately after I started as well to recover the broken tissue, the broken muscles, because that's what you need to do. Your body requires energy. And by you exercising, you not only start feeling the movement body in motion stays in motion right but the, what's the most important thing is that we release the endorphins and do you know that only through exercise these hormones can be released those are happy hormones the dopamine those are happy hormones those are all hormones that will give you that vibrancy for life you can replace this with anything you can replace it with a tablet to give you an ener energy so all of us should be moving and there should be movement of about 60 minutes a day it's recommended at least three times a week obviously i do this six to seven times a, a, a week because you know as jack lalane even said if you guys know who this was if you don't search him he said you can take a day off but you better don't eat anything does this make sense? We wanted to eat, we wanted, but we wanted to move, right? We wanted to have that good energy. So remember, those hormones regulate your mood. And it's crucial for our existence to deliver these hormones. So make sure that you exercise and you don't know how, you don't know what to do. Reach out to me, I will hook you guys up. I will show you how it's done here at Peak. Of course, everything is virtual because we do not wanna wear a mask while we're exercising, okay? Uh, so what else you can do? Maybe you guys do the same. Reading, reading. Uh, you see, some of you can see the pic there's tons of library around me. I have a lot of different uh, books and uh, from people, absolutely amazing authors that have been with us for many, many years or centuries, uh, you know, studying Stoics and very important books in life. It's going to teach you something that no one else around you can teach you. Those are people that put their thoughts and their amazing energy into writing guys so find a book if you don't know i can suggest you books that are great books that will open up your mind that's gonna give you a little bit better perspective in life that whatever we are here and we are here on this earth to do something special and every single person has something to offer there is eight billion people in this on this planet and can you imagine that that none of us are, is identical isn't that amazing that every single one of you has something special and different and you are here to serve you need to find your reason and your purpose to share with others and you need to tap into that deep potential and that's what we have that's why we do these videos that's why we do these things and we we, we go through the certain stages in our life to deepen the relationship with you and find the reason and the purpose because all of us has it we just need to find it 
All right, so reading, I strongly suggest you, there are so many good authors, it depends what you're looking for, are you feeling, you know, you want more into uh, 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 just feeling good, or you want you want more motivational, or some of people looking for just sales and understanding the sales, there's so much stuff. I read it all, I am a fanatic of reading and absolutely love it. So now, at the end of the day, what is my closing routine? Peak Freaks know this. They know the abbreviation because I have used it for a long time. Write it down because this can stay with you for life. G-T-S-O-P. Go to sleep on protein, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys following any diets, diets don't work. They f you will never be able to sustain a diet because it's unsustainable. It's not something that you can follow for life. That's why people fall off. They go from one thing to the next. And that's tapping into habits. If you want to know more about habits, I strongly suggest you to look into the previous sessions that I talk about it. Go to sleep on protein. Why we do that? Meaning if your dinner is at seven, but you go to sleep at midnight, you need to have some kind of a protein in your system before you go to sleep. Why? Because then when you go to sleep, your metabolism is raised and you're going to have a recovery of the muscles staying throughout the night. And that's how you change tremendously your whole physical appearance. Of course, you need the high intensity training to release the growth hormone, but that's a different story. We're talking about recovery. Don't go to sleep on sugar. Don't go to sleep on carbohydrates. Peak freaks know this. You don't wanna raise your insulin level before you go to sleep. You wanna have just pure protein. That's what you want. And why drinking shakes before you're going to sleep? Because it's liquid. And it's not going to make you heavy. It's not going to make you feel uncomfortable. You want something light, just enough to cut the gap in between being hungry and being full. That's it. Plus, it's hydration because it's water, right? So, we are pretty much coming to, an, to, to the end. A few more things. Uh, as I told you, make sure you're doing the closing routine, asking yourself the question, about accomplishment, feedback, how you've done these things throughout the day so you can uh, move on with your life. And you can point things that maybe you've done wrong, maybe you need to learn something from this experience today, right? And what else I do, uh, which is very, very important, every Sunday, our family, not only me, my kids, I have to tell you, my kids do these, these routines every single day. They have their own journals. So they journal about gratefulness, gratitude, what they've done well today. And nowadays you can purchase so many of them. It's, it's, the market is really saturated if you're going to look at this, but they write it down every single day. And kids have such an amazing energy and the ideas that they have. It's really funny what they write. But it also show you how the mind is creative. They have no boundaries. They live with the present. Whatever their mind that tells them, they're going to do it. And that's what they've been doing. So this is really cool to do that for your kids. Uh, you can look at those journals and they're going to be laughing about this years later. But it teaches them uh, appreciating the day and have a closure of the day. Okay, so that's important. Now, what else? So every Sunday, you can write this down. You can do this yourself. I can teach you this quickly right now. Weekly life assessments. And what is this? This is our major areas of our life. That's what we're always working here on. And you can write those down. They go in order. Health, family, friends, your intimate relationships, you know, husband, wife, just your, your, your partner, your mission, your work, finances, adventures, hobby, spirituality, and emotion. That's what I do. That's what we actually do. Steve does it. I do it myself. Sometimes we interact, we ask each other questions, and this is what the whole idea is all about. You rate yourself one to 10 every Sunday. And we're not looking to have a 10 in all of them. I mean, if you have a 10 in all of these, then you are some freaking high performer. And I wanted to meet with you, sit down with you, and ask you how you've done it. You need to share this with us. Because it's very early that you will get a 10 on all of them. Think about it. Like, in a week, everything would happen. Sometimes you might have great relationships.
relationship with your with your spouse and you did great at work and you uh, have awesome emotions you were really tuned into it you didn't freak out you have everything kind of in the green zone but then you haven't i don't know done adventures for months or maybe you didn't meet with your friends for a long time and if you why we do that because all of us looking for balance in life and people think balance as far as the time spent with our loved ones and family, right? That's what we're looking for. But the truth is that it's not about the length, it's the quality. So rather sometimes spending less time, but the quality of the time, the presence, uh, being really thoughtful with whoever, like if you're meeting with your friend, don't freaking stay on the phone. Stop typing messages. Be present and look this person in the eye. The same with kids. You, 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 I see parents doing other things and not being present with your family. We don't do that. We focus on the kids. We focus on the relationship. And that's very, very important. So your score, it's going to show you what attention... In your life right now, what do you need to maybe put more attention to? That's what this core is all about. And it's very helpful. I'm telling you every Sunday. And the here comes the thing. That you need to find a time exactly when you're going to do this. You need to put it on your phone as a reminder. I like to do this in the evening. Because I want to kind of include Sunday in it. So I do this in the evening at the end of the day. That's my time. It's set on the schedule. When we drink shakes, we do these things. So think about one more time about balance. It's the quality, not the quantity. And also, every single person, really, when you think about it, we spend about 30%. 30% of our time is on sleep. 30% is on work. And 30% is on relationships, you know, friends, family. That's how really the life gets broken down when you look at this. But again, I strongly recommend you read yourself on those. It's going to help you because you're going to see that what if every, every week on Sunday, you're going to realize that, I don't know, maybe you're with your partner, you haven't been connecting and that's why you're not feeling good. Or maybe you have not been connecting with your kids. That's why you're not feeling good. Or maybe you've been lacking on health. Maybe you've, you've been, not eating well, not exercising, and then doing so much work, and that's why you feel overwhelmed. That's why we do these life assessments, okay? But anyway, that was my session. I want to welcome Jenna now. Jenna's going to mute herself, and you guys going to hear her. I know you guys on Facebook and Instagram. The Instagram friends are here. I see you guys. I know that you guys don't have Facebook. That's why you're joining us here. Uh, and we're going to go over with with Jenna, and, and I want to welcome Jenna. Thank you so much for coming on board, Jenna. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Okay, wonderful. So uh, I, know we, uh, I know Jenna from, you know, years ago when she first came to Peak, but Jenna's going to tell her story, her personal story. So we're going to start because she, she represents no excuses mindset, and I want to hear you guys I want you to hear her story because it's truly amazing and I am very excited for this meeting. So Jenna, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I found you through your gym, of course, and thank you so much for that compliment, by the way, of having that no excuses mindset. Um, everything that I've seen, you know, everything that I've seen from you, from your staff has been transformational in itself. And um, I'll start, I guess, at the beginning, really. Yes. Um, I was going through my lowest point in life and kind of, I guess you could call it rock bottom, but my entire reality kind of changed and what I thought was, wasn't. And I was just kind of lost in my own existence. And mm -hmm. I had a, a, a young daughter at the time and I didn't know how on earth I was going to get through what I was going through. And so in life, a lot of us, we, we have that little inner voice that tells us, do this, do that. And so many times we kind of shut that voice down because it 
doesn't fit in with what society says or logic overpowers it at that time. And so at this point in my life, I was not only completely out of my mind, not knowing what I was going to do with myself, how I was, how I was going to get through. Um, I had a young child, like I said, I was not doing well financially, physically, I was not doing well, I had put on a tremendous amount of weight, and I was very uncomfortable in my body. And so that little boy started saying, you need to push yourself. I like and, that. <laughs> yeah, and it was, it was just, it was so apparent to me that I had to give in, I had to listen to it. And... At that time, my goal wasn't specifically only to lose weight. Mm -hmm. It was really to get overall healthy um, and to kind of regain my power and figure out who I was and, and, and get through. And so I kept seeing, um, I kept seeing before and after pictures on Facebook from people from your gym. And actually my aunt in particular had did, she had done the 21 day challenge with you guys. And in 21 days, I think I actually saw her even less than the 21 days. She hadn't even completed the 21 days at that point, but she looked like a different person. Like she had a glow about her. I could just see that there was something so different. And I'm like, that's it. I have, that's where I'm going to push my body. I'm going to push my body. I'm going to listen to this little voice in my head. I'm going to push my body harder than I ever have. And somehow it's going to heal me and I'm going to figure it out. And so at that time, I didn't have much money, but I said, I'm going to do it. And so I, I joined, I signed up for a year at that time. Yes, I remember you signed up and, and tell us a little bit, like, how was your experience? What happened throughout that time? Because you, 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 you were struggling, right? When you came, you had that difficult time, yet you made the decision to sign up to do it. So tell us a little bit of your experience that you had. So I knew at that time that I, I couldn't just do a 21 day. I knew I needed to make a big commitment because I, I needed a lot. I, I wanted the results and I needed a complete radical transformation and it wasn't going to happen in 21 days. Yes. So I signed up for the year and as soon as I walked in, as terrified as I was, the energy was unbelievable. I sweat more than I've ever sweat in my entire life. <laughs> It's funny you like, saying was, this. I just was saying this on my life as well. Sorry to interrupt you that people would come to the gym and they would be like, I did not know that I can sweat so much. <laughs> you were just yes. talking about it. Yes. Yes. And you see your whole outline on the floor and sweat, but it's, it's beautiful and you embrace that. But it, I started to realize through that, through that first year and being at the gym that there was not only, you know, we always hear the mind-body connection, yes, yes, but there was a body-mind connection that happened with me. And so I, I was becoming almost addicted to the sessions and pushing myself and feeling amazing. And that was, that was my therapy. And that's what I would think of it as. It wasn't torture. It wasn't hard, as hard as it was. <laughs> That was my therapy. And so that was my why. And it kept me coming back and it kept me going. Wonderful. So that change has happened and the transformation, not only physical, but mental, right? And then so you rediscover certain things and you said, and you enjoyed the process. Obviously, you just fall in love with the process. And that's very important. That's how you stick to the to the program. But then tell us, okay, so you, you've done the, the peak some changes has happened. How, how did you really got into what we're going to be talking about today? The hypnosis where, where this is in this whole picture of Jenna and her life. So it really set me on a journey of self-discovery and, and, you know, you, you also talk a lot about reading and self-development is something that you're, you know, you're, interested in just as much as I am. And it led me down that road. So I started listening to audio books, reading books, journaling, and just kind of soaking up as much knowledge that I could. And so in that, that first year I did lose 30 pounds. Amazing. But I also, 
yeah, it was, it was really amazing. But I felt like that was just an outward expression of all the healing that had been done within me. You know, so it was a, it was like a physical, a physical evidence that, wow, I really, I really did this. That's a great, great way of putting it, really. A healing. I like that. Yes, it was a total healing and a total transformation, not just physically, but emotionally, you know, and, and there was something about pushing my body because I was never, a, I was not an active child. I was very overweight as mm -hmm. a child. I never played sports, you know, so this was the first sort of physical activity I really had done in my life. Wow. And for, for it to make such an impact on my mental state, it was just unbelievable. That's amazing story. So you start discovering and reading and we're talking about journaling. So you kind of know uh, the way of that subconscious mind, how it's going to work and how it's going to really happen. So tell us a little bit more because we were we were talking just today about, you know, um, uh, like tell us a little bit more who did, who really created this uh, this program and and and. Uh, what are the rules of the mind that if you can give us a little bit more, that would be awesome. Yes, of course, of course. So I came across in my, my, on this journey, I guess, I came across this woman named Marissa Peer and she's based out of the UK. Um, and I came across, I, I think it was a Ted talk that I saw from her and she was talking about women and, and people in general, but specifically women and how, the biggest plague that is amongst mankind right now is this belief that we're not enough. We're not good enough, yes. smart enough, skinny enough, whatever enough. And it just resonated with me so deeply. You know, we spent all this money on clothes, on material things, on this, on that, because we're trying to fill this feeling that we're not enough. Yes. Yes. That's... And so it resonated so so deeply with me that I, I kind of couldn't ignore it. I felt like, all right, this is like another little, little whisper in my ear, like mm -hmm. go down this road. Okay. So you discovered this and, and, and you, you, you spent a year, right? On, on the learning and studying. And uh, to, so tell us a little bit more about the rules of the mind and, and what is something different about hypnosis? Why hypnosis? So a lot of us, most of us probably have heard that we only use about 10% of our mind and no one ever really explains, well, what's the other 90%, you know, what's going on in that. That's most of your brain. That's most of your mind is that 90%. Well, in my studies, what I've learned is that that's your subconscious mind. So there are things within that, you know, that are making your heartbeat automatically, for instance, or, you know, those sort of things. But the more I started learning about how the mind works, the more I realized that, or what I found out is we are running off of belief systems that we actually form by the age of eight years old. This is so very interesting. In, so early in, in our, in. right? So early in our stage, we, we form this belief system and then we carry on throughout our lives. Yes, and we build traje trajectory behind it as well. The older that we get, if we don't address these belief systems that we're running off of, these limiting beliefs, I should say, they're only building as we get older. Okay, so this is interesting. Go, go ahead, oh, go ahead, sorry, because it's like a... No, no, uh, after, I got after, so excited about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, me too. But, so, so, so this is very interesting because um, when you say belief system and all of us, this group that is here on, with us on Zoom and we have people on Instagram and on Facebook watching us, I want you guys to ask yourself right now the question, what is the set of beliefs that you have right now? What is it that you tell yourself every single day? What kind of words of affirmation? And this is also goes into journaling and really putting a thought into your head. Like I start, I have to tell you guys, I start daily with what is the one sentence that I'm going to say to myself or what is the one thing that I'm going to say to myself? And 
I am just going to go sometimes, there are different sentences, but this is a set of belief system or maybe how you want to show up into this world, right? You want to, I don't know, um, uh, power, overpower the day, you want to deliver, you want to be of no excuses, no matter what is going to happen. Those are, or you're going to show up as a influencer or as a person of uh, uh, influence, motivation, whatever there is, how do you see yourselves, right? This is very important to do those daily things because if you get from the outside world so much negativity and you're not going to release it, first of all, and you're going to be absorbing it, then your self-belief system, I believe, it's so out of whack that you don't even know yourself. You just don't know who you are. Correct? Absolutely. We absorb so much from around us that we don't even realize. And that's why we, I always preach this. Stop being consumer. Stop, start being producer. I do not stay on Facebook or Instagram. I do not, I have people that I will follow that give me knowledge. But I don't go on the social media and scroll and spend time. That's consuming, guys. That's taking in and starting comparing yourself to others. And then you start losing the sense of what I'm here for in this world. What do I want to deliver? What message? Because then you're going to be like, oh, okay, she's better looking. He's better looking. He's fit. So he is more fit than I cannot show anything. Then uh, this one has more followers than I cannot show. No, close yourself on this. You are one and only. And you got to preach what you wanted to say. So you go and produce. You go and send it. Not Stop consuming. Stop taking in. This is very important. And it's a rule of the world, really. That's how my life and how our family lives by. And I bet you're going to do the same. You do the same, Jenna, because you want to service. And out of service comes a strong beliefs or what you're supposed to be doing in this world. Absolutely. And I can't remember who said it, but there, there's a famous quote that says, comparison is the thief of all joy. And yes, it's, it's I've so heard true. this. I don't know who that says, but exactly. That's what it is. So that strong belief system. And but ha then how come, how come and how is that possible that some of us, some of us somehow find or change the belief system and that we run on that amazing energy and like a power plant, releasing the energy. And I'm going to give you a quick example. I was born in a different country, right? I was born in Poland. I always wanted to come to America. I figured it out on my own. I came. Uh, we've been very, very successful. And, and, but I had a vision since I was like 16 years old. That was a vision. But I went through when I came over to America on my own. I went through a series of hectic years, very difficult years, uh, struggling, not, not living with the mission that I was taught because my life was always fitness. That's how I started. I, I was studying physical education. I got master's degree in uh, Europe as a physical educator. And I was not congruent with my mission. So this caused me so much chaos. Because I did not find fulfillment and happiness. Till, uh, till the moment that me and my husband, uh, we decided, okay, we're going to do this. And this is what our mission's been. And, and that's how we started. So my belief system has changed too. Because think about it. I came from a different country. I learned the language on my own. I was studying at school. But I had to learn on my own. And the fact that I'm a, like an underdog, that I, I I make mistakes all the time. When I make, I'm, I'm in writing. But you know what? I don't care. This will not stop me from achieving my goal. And these set beliefs that I created for myself keeps me going. Because if I would start comparing myself and uh, uh, hearing from people, oh, you made a mistake, oh, you wrote this. Some people send me messages on Instagram that I made a mistake. Okay. Who cares? I made a mistake. Is that a big deal? It caused a chaos for you to look at the and read the post. Awesome. That's what I want. I'm going to make more mistakes. If this is going to bring your attention. Uh, 
but I learned this, that I am not absorbing. I am who I am. This is what I believe. This is what I like and do. And I'm going to share with the world because I have a mission to fulfill. What do you think about that? So I think intuitively you knew that you need to dialogue with your mind. And I think intuitively you knew that because another rule of the mind is that first we make our beliefs and then our beliefs make us. So you could have gone down a very different path and repeated some of the things that had gone on in your childhood that you shared a couple weeks back. But instead, the so beliefs, let me back up just for a second. So beliefs are not formed based on events that happen to us. Beliefs are formed because we give them a specific meaning. It could be the most simple thing, but whatever meaning we attach to that forms our belief. It defines how we perceive that event. And so I think intuitively you knew how to kind of talk to your mind and how to use that as more momentum to go the opposite way. That that fueled you instead of limiting you. Yes, exactly. That's good world fueling because that's how I feel that I live off. Sometimes it's it's the things that in life that almost would make us less if you're going to flip them around, that's my way of saying it. The things that make you less, flip around and live off of it as an energy source. But not everyone does that. Some people, you know, feel defeated and so they, they kind of give up on certain things that they would have pursued. And that's true. You know? A lot of people do that. Yes. But I just speak from my own experience that that's really what always happens in me in my life. That anything that it's going against me, I put even more effort into it to achieve it. So it's not, it, it's, it's just, I, I bottle till I know that I cannot go any longer. But at least I'm using all my resources till I finish and I know, okay, this is not going to work. Right. Right. So our thoughts create emotions, right? Our emotions affect our our feelings and our feelings then affect our actions so it's a trickle effect when you're aware of your thoughts and you're you know it, you're able to kind of first acknowledge okay that was not very nice or that was a negative thought by first acknowledging that it creates a trickle effect because now you're able to change the thought and then the emotion and then the action amazing and so yeah i mean that's what i that's what i think as far as you go, I think that that's what really built the momentum for you. Yeah. You know, because you, I think intuitively saw your thought process and said, okay, this is what I want and this is what is going to happen. And I'm going to make sure that it happens. And so you didn't allow the doubt or the negative talk to overpower you. You didn't give in to those emotions. You created a more positive emotion. I think that's, yes. Yes. That's, that's what it yes. It seems like that that would be the case, and uh, and a lot of us uh, a lot of us need that, right? Because a, a lot of people given up, and, and and this kind of leads to the no excuses. Really, what we're talking about it right now that leads to totally no excuses mindset, uh, finding that positive way of thinking, changing the current thought if you have negative thoughts, right? So, so Jenna, uh, what else would you like to share with us? Um, something specific that you want to mention to us before we're going to actually do this cool session. So I just want to give you guys heads up that we're going to be discussing a few things and then we're going to actually say goodbye to Facebook and we're going to stay only for the hypnosis session on Zoom. So make sure that you're logging yourself in because this is going to be specific what Jenna's going to do. So if there's one more thing I could say, it would be to, to be aware of your thoughts and also be aware that you can change them. You can change the language that you use. So if something is normally difficult for you, let's say you really want to wake up early, an hour earlier and work out or whatever it may be. The thoughts are then, like I said, going to create an emotion, which is going to create your, your action, your end result. So if I could say one more thing, it would be to be aware of that and instead tell yourself, I'm choosing 
to do this. I'm choosing to do this happily. By saying that, instead of I have to do this, I need to do this, I should do this, just changing that one word to choosing, I'm choosing to do this, will change everything for you. Exactly, because it's that choice that you make, right? Or I am I am doing this, I decided, I am going, right? No, not even going, but just doing it, making the decision, right? And and changing and it gives the way you that power. Yeah. It gives you absolutely. Uh, so for people that wanted to wake up in the morning and never uh, did waking up, I am I am a quick, uh, you know, no snooze button person. Uh, but I know <laughs> that there is a lot of people out there that would like to, and maybe they tried for years. And I heard this a lot of times. I am not a morning person. And honestly, I've never been a morning person. But in my life, I waken up a lot of times early because I decided that I would do a homework in the morning. I have to tell you, sometimes I would wake up at 5 a.m. to do a homework for my studies instead of doing this at nighttime because my brain would shut down. But then I realized, you know, I was never really a morning person. I chosen to do that because I wanted to complete my task. But for those of you who wanted to get up in the morning, well, first of all, we got to set up the clock. We've set it up a few clocks, but what is the, how to develop the good emotion? What can you tell this person? Like, okay, should they go to sleep thinking I am going, I am getting up in the morning. I am going to do my workout. I am going to do this. Nothing, no excuses mindset. Nothing's going to stop me. Do that. Should the people go to sleep on a good thought or what is what is the, the spin here so i wouldn't even add all of those things onto it because that's only like whoa that's 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 a lot of things i have to do in the morning i would rehearse it you know i would i would envision myself okay in the morning and eh, 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 the alarm is going off i'm physically going to move my body because by doing that even though you don't want to even if your eyes are closed in the morning but you physically sit up in your bed put your feet on the ground you will you will do it you will follow through that yeah. just moving your body sends the signal to your brain like okay we're doing this but i wouldn't start adding on okay i'm gonna wake up in the morning I'm going to do this. I'm going to work out. I'm going to drink my water. I'm going to because it's a lot. I would just yes, yes. So all I'm going to do is when that alarm clock goes off, I'm going to physically move my body, and that's it. Everything else will be taken care of because by physically moving your body, you're sending that signal to your brain, and science has shown that this is this is how you get real results. This is how you actually be, make it become a habit for you. So envisioning, very quick envisioning, when you hear this, envisioning yourself, right? That vision, the creating that vision and, and doing it and not overwhelming yourself with complicated stuff. Pretty simple. Right. Mm -hmm. Just get the first step down to physically get up and move and you'll make, you'll make the rest happen. You know what you have to do, but I would just get that first step up to send that signal and everything else will, will flow. It's true. Once you up, you don't, I don't see you going down, laying down again, right? <laughs> Unless you guys are crazy like this, then you're going to get up and you're going to be like, yeah, I see that pillow. This bed is calling me. I heard people saying yep. that the bed was calling them. Is that true? Oh, yeah. You have five seconds to physically move your body. Otherwise, you'll talk yourself out of it. Yeah. Five seconds rule. Five seconds, yep. we'll be getting up, going for it. Awesome. So, Jenna, are we ready to do that session now? So, yes, we're ready. Okay, um, fantastic. I'm so, I am going to say goodbye to the Instagram friends. And, guys, if you wanted to know more, send me a message. I will hook you up. We can send you always recording uh, and uh, more information about it. Uh, make sure that you're joining. I send you guys link. So make sure that you're going to join us now. We're going to give you a moment to log in, but we wanted to start immediately. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Talk to you soon. Of course, no excuses.